Hi everyone, welcome back to Aiden's Railways. Today we're going to take a look at the new Hornby Terrier Bodium. I've been waiting for this, pre-ordered it back in January, so uh, here we go. If you're new to the channel or you haven't already, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, click on the bell icon, select all, and you'll be notified every time we upload new content. So a little bit about this locomotive. It served on the Kentney Sussex Railway until 1931 when it was withdrawn. In 1933, a sister locomotive, I believe which was Rolvenden, was robbed of its parts to restore Bodium to work in order. After nationalisation, Bodium continued to work on the Kentney Sussex and later the Hayling Island branch until 1963 when it was withdrawn permanently. Amazingly, the locomotive has been saved from the scrapyard and is back on the Kentney Sussex Railway and is now jointly owned by the Terrier Trust. Currently, at the time of filming Bodium is out of service but is currently having an extensive overhaul hopefully to have it restored in time for its 150th birthday in 2022. So back when Hornby released details of their newly tooled Terrier locomotive I actually purchased this Kentney Sussex locomotive which was Rolvenden. After that I managed to pick up a second hand Hornby Bodium which was uh, the old Daypole tooling. Back at the beginning of 2021, when Hornby announced the newly tooled Bodium, I decided to dispense and sell off the old tooled Bodium and put down a pre-order for this, the new tooled Bodium, therefore having both sister locomotives together in the new tooling. So I'll put Rolvenden to one side and let's take a look at Bodium. So the model comes in the usual Hornby packaging that we are so used to nowadays. So we've got a picture of the locomotive there on the front or the model itself anyway. On the top, you can see a top view of it as well. And on the rear, there is a little bit of information on the actual class and this particular locomotive itself. Pause it and you can have a read of the information there on the back of the box. So it's a 0P class locomotive, a A1 slash A1X class Terrier. So let's get inside the packaging. So as usual with all Hornby's models, we get a hold of the information leaflet, which will tell us about running in the various routine maintenance, lubrication and fitting additional parts. Something of which on this model will come in very handy with its small size and delicate pieces. It is DCC ready and will accept a six pin DCC decoder. So here we are in the ice cube packaging. I just lift that up and slide the outer cover off. And we can see here there was some additional detail in the form of some vacuum pipes. So I've transferred to a white background just to help us out here with seeing the actual detail with such a small and dark locomotive. So you can see here on the side all of this brake rigging, all of the brake rods, everything like that. They're already fitted on the outside of the locomotive. It is so small this locomotive and I remember saying that when I picked up Rolvenden. To give you an idea I'll just put this steel rule underneath. It is really, really very small, even in its height. So if you think that you're getting a large locomotive for a sum of money, be warned, it is a very, very small locomotive, as the Terriers were. As you can see on the side, it's got some excellently printed detail. So you've got all of the red lining onto that blue background and the Kentney Sussex Railway crest with the Bodium nameplate are very, very sharp. Really, really well done. As I said before, you can see, even see the lining here running along the chassis itself. If I just tilt the locomotive up there, you can actually see how detailed it is and you can even see the rivets running along the top of the boiler and smoke box there. All of the pipework and things along this dome are incredibly fine, really delicate, same as these separately fitted handrails. Lovely detail with the water filler tanks with the lids for opening up and filling. Something that really took my breath away when the first model, which was Rolvenden, that I got came out was the level of detail inside the cab. It is absolutely exquisite. So if we just have a look from this angle and I'll turn it round and we can have a look in from the other side. It is absolutely exquisite, the level of detail that is inside that cab. Now I know some people have complained about being able to see the actual glazing running across the front and the same with the rear, but really by the time a crew has been fitted inside there, you're not gonna notice that, especially when you compare it to the actual amount of detail that is inside that cab area. If we take a look at the rear, the actual coal load that is in the back actually does look very, very realistic. Unlike some models produced, it does look very realistic. You can see there the lining continues around the rear of the locomotive. Now, in case any of you were wondering if you haven't got one of these Terriers, no, the buffers aren't sprung. I can't imagine they could make them sprung as well with the layout in which they have, but they are very, very nice. They are metal, they're not plastic. 
if we take a look at the front there you can see all of that exquisite detail there is actually vacuum brake pipe there already fitted you can see these lamp irons which are incredibly de delicate across the front there now there is a tiny bit which I can see whether or not it picks up on the camera. There's a tiny bit of glue residue there by some of the separately fitted parts. The dart on the smoke box certainly appears to be separately fitted as it is incredibly delicate. Lovely detailed spectacles there on the cab. For such a small locomotive, it does actually have a reasonable amount of weight to it. Now, unlike when I purchased Rolvenden, all of the parts were actually fitted to this locomotive. There had been some sort of transit issues with mine, and I remember the steps had actually come off on one side of Rolvenden. So I'm just gonna put Bodium there to one side. You can see here we've got Rolvenden, and you can see the offending article in the way of the steps. It does just slot back in. I've never actually got around to gluing it, but uh, once it's in, it seems to be in until I start handling it. One of the things I'm always curious about with these models, especially when they do two of the same locomotive, with the same livery but with different nameplates is are there any differences in the colour? Well I can tell you looking at them myself from here and whether or not your opinion is the same on camera they do appear to be very much the same colour. There doesn't seem to be any difference in the shade of blue used. I'm quite happy to now have both sister locomotives, both Barodium and Rolvenden together. The Kent and East Sussex Railway is a special place to me. It is somewhere I've travelled many times and as a child visited frequently. In fact, when I visited as a very small child, it only ran from Tenterden down to Rolvenden. A very, very short trip indeed. Obviously now the railway continues all the way along to Bodium with future extension plans already in the process. Obviously when you put the locomotive side by side here, you can see the difference between the locomotives with a few of the details which they haven't missed out. This is good news, especially for people who want to keep things authentic. So there are actual subtle differences, although these aren't quite so subtle between the two locomotives. Uh, one thing of note is I did not actually fit these pipes here onto Bodium and I didn't fit this one onto Rolvenden. However, there isn't one on the rear of Rolvenden but it is in the detail pack. One thing I'd like to see Hornby produce possibly in 2022 would actually be some of the rolling stock for use on this railway. So potentially their four and six wheeled coach stock could easily be transformed into possible rolling stock for the railway. It would be nice to see something to have that's realistic or reasonably realistic to run with these two locomotives for possibly the era or for preservation. So we have looked at the Hornby Terrier locomotive, Kentney Sussex Railway Terrier that is, 060T Bodium. I want a quick look there at Rolvenden. Put a link in the description and at the top of the screen there in case you want to have a look at the review I did a couple of years back of Rolvenden. So this is one of our most recent arrivals here from Hornby at Aidens Railways. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So I've put a video at the top of the screen that you might enjoy and I've put a playlist at the bottom. Don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to Aidens Railways and why not check out the Aidens Railways short site for all of your short video form content.